Today, I wanna showcase a new feature available in Strapi's growth plan. It's Strapi AI. It allows you to save time by letting you quickly generate collection types and content types via a text prompt, or you could import files from Figma, just like I have here. We're going to take this Figma design, import it into Strapi AI, and generate our collection and content types. You are also able to import a file from your computer, which is a zip file containing your full project. For instance, Today, I'll show you how I created this project using V0. We exported it into a zip file and imported it into Strapi AI to generate our collection types. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how Strapi AI works, but more importantly, I'll show you how to get started with Growth Plan for free that you could try for 30 days. You can jumpstart a brand new project via the CLI command. You'll have an option to click on Create a Cloud Account and that will start you off with a growth plan, which will include 30 days of all the features, including Strapi AI. But now let's jump into the fun part. In our content type builder section, we are now able to use our Strapi AI to generate our collections. There's three ways to use it. One, you could import a file from Figma. You can import a project either from your computer or any project that you may have built with tools like V0. All you need is a zip file. And finally, you could just do it via prompting. Let's start by importing a project from Figma. If you click on import from Figma, it will open up this model, which will ask you to add your API key. You could click on the link to see the instructions, but I'll walk you through the simple steps. Here, navigate to your name, go into settings, and under the security tab, you can generate a new token. I already created a Strapi AI token, but I'm gonna show you what I've selected. You click on generate a new token, you give it a name, test, you set the expiration duration, and you give the scope. For the previous token I've created, I gave my user scope and all the files. Once you have that done, you could click on generate token. You'll get your API token, which you can go ahead and copy. Once you have your token, Navigate back to your Strapi application and go ahead and paste it in. I'm gonna go ahead, click Save Token. Now we need a Figma URL. You can get the Figma URL by going back to your application, selecting the design that you want to use. I'm gonna use this landing page here. Make sure that you select the pane that you want and click Share. And here, click on copy link. This is going to give you the link to your project. Now, navigate back into Strapi. Go ahead and paste your Figma URL. And now, you could click import. This is going to go ahead and start the process. Notice you could see your project here at Strapi. And finally, let's click finish. Notice that this went ahead and created the following items. It created a block schema, category schema, our author, our collection types for global, this will hold our global settings, content for your website, such as site name, newsletter description, content information, and popular tags. It created our tags and Instagram post content type. You could see here on the left that it has all the different types for our author, our blog post, our categories, our global page, and our tags. And it also created our Instagram post. You can also ask follow-up prompts. For instance, I wanna create the blocks for the landing page. So you could say, create blogs for the home page based on the provided Figma file and click the send button. You could also attach additional images if you need to. Nice, isn't this cool? You can create everything you need for your website using Strapi AI. You don't have to create everything with Strapi AI, but if you're having a writer's block or you're trying to figure out how to organize the data, this is one awesome way to explore. And you could always ask follow-up prompts using the chatbot or add additional images either via attached file, import it from Figma or even import code, which is pretty cool. So let's refresh this project and take a look how we could actually generate our collection types from an actual project that we already have. 
For instance, your React project, we could import it via the zip file. So let's do that now. So now let's take a look how we could use Strap AI to generate our content types and collections from an actual project file or folder, which is your completed project. And you're probably saying, well, if I don't have a project, what can I do? Well, here's a great way to test it out. Let's ask ChatGPT to help us create a prompt to generate UI for a dog and cat sitting website. Please include all the most important sections and features. Nice. So we have a basic prompt and notice that is already optimized for V0. And that's exactly what we're going to use. You could also use Lovable or any other generator. I'm going to go ahead and copy my prompt and navigate to V0. And here in V0, let's go ahead and paste it and click go. We're going to skip the chat sidebar for now. We're just going to go ahead and let it do its thing. I like it. It's going to call it Paws and Whiskers Care. I'm going to steal that name because I really love cats and dogs. And you know what? I'm going to go and buy that domain name. Nice. So now stuff is really happening and V0 is generating a project. And for this demo, I am using V0, but you could actually build your own project and take that code base and pass it into Strapi AI to help you generate your collection types. But I just wanted to kind of show you how you can use some of these cool AI tools, combine them together to build something neat. Wow, that's pretty cool. V0 created our basic landing page that we could use to showcase our example. So now that we have our website, let's go ahead, click on the three dots and download the zip file. Once the file is downloaded, navigate back to your Strapi application and click import from your computer. I'm going to go ahead and browse my files and it was in my download folder. I'm going to go ahead, click the zip file and click open. This is going to go ahead and start the process. Once everything is uploaded, go ahead and click finish. This is going to pass a project into context and Strapi AI is going to do all the magic. So notice based on our project, it identified that we have blog posts, testimonials, services, pricing tier, frequently asked question, gallery image, homepage, and feature components. So let's review our content structure and see how it did. So notice here we have our blog post, including general content. You can ask AI to prompt and add additional features. For instance, we are using blog posts and we have an excerpt, but what we want, we actually want to have a rich text for our content. So let's go ahead and say to the blog post content, add a markdown rich text field called content and let's click here nice so let's see if it updates our blog post collection type and perfect and our homepage contains all of our items including our about section and notice how all these other sections are just new items you know what i want this to be a little bit more cleaner and so let's ask a follow-up prompt Let's say organize the home page content with blocks in a dynamic zone. Perfect. And look at that. Looks much cleaner. We have our components in our dynamic zone, title, subtitle, and image. Perfect. And if you need any additional data, you could always prompt away. And notice that it even created our section blocks with all the different blocks that we have here. This is so cool. So we went from a chat GPT prompt to give us some cool ideas of what we wanted to build. Then we passed that prompt into V0 to generate our first pass for our website layout. We exported it via zip and in our application, we imported the zip file into the Strapi AI Builder, and we were able to generate all these cool collection types. And as we saw, you could always ask follow-up prompts or questions anytime you need to make more changes. Wow, this is so cool. 
we went and created all of our collection types and content types. And you can also manually tweak them if you need to. For instance, you could add a field, you could delete a field here using the traditional approach. But I just like how we were able to, via prompts, adding some context, create and jumpstart our project really, really quickly. If you have any questions, you could always catch me on our Discord channel at 12.30 p.m. CST time, Monday through Friday, when we hold our open office hours. Now that we took a look at some of the cool things and ways you could use Strapi AI, I would love to see what kind of things you're going to build when building your next application. We took a look how to start from Figma and generate our collection types or how you could push your whole project via zip to Sharp AI and have it do the same. You could also ask follow-up questions via prompting. Now that we saw all the exciting stuff about Strapi AI, you could definitely let me know any questions that you have in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. But now let's take a look how you could get a growth plan license key and how to add it to an existing projects so you could enable these features. Strapi AI is part of our growth plan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started. You could navigate to pricing and here you could see all of our options. Let's click buy now. With the default plan, you get three seats and you could also add additional service if you need single sign-on. But for me, I'm going to click continue. Once you have your plan selected and you don't need any additional seats, go ahead and click proceed to checkout. You will be asked to provide your email once you have your email, click proceed. You're going to be emailed your six digit code. Once you enter your code, click login. You'll be asked to provide your basic information. I'm going to go ahead and do it off screen. Once you have your billing information and your credit card, we're going to agree to the terms of service and click pay. Once your order is complete, you should have access to your license key. Make sure you go ahead and copy it and save it somewhere safe. You could either download it or copy to use in our project. I'm going to download it for safekeeping. Here on the right, you see the instructions of how to enable your growth plan key in your project. You could either do it via the Strapi license environmental variable, or you could add a text file. And I'll show you how to accomplish this in our example project. I'm going to go ahead and copy my key and we're going to set it up in our project. Now let's take a look how to add our growth plan to an existing Strapi project. If you don't have one, you could easily get started by running this command, npx create Strapi at latest. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to copy the command and inside my terminal, I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to call this Strapi AI demo. If you're just starting out, you could actually try growth plan features absolutely free by by creating a free account using the login option. But instead, we're going to go ahead and click skip because I'm going to show you how to add it manually, especially if you already purchased the plan. We're going to say yes for a default SQLite database, and we're going to say no for the example data structure. Start with TypeScript, yes. Install dependencies via NPM, yes. Initiate repository, yes. And we're going to opt out from A-B testing. Once our application has installed, let's CD into our folder and we're going to open our project in VS Code. If we take a look in our package.json file, you're going to see that we are on version 5.26.0. This is where Strapi AI is available. But if we start our project now, let me clear our screen and run yarn dev. We're going to be asked to create our first admin user. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that now. And good secure password, monkey1234. I'm just kidding. You should always use secure passwords. And once we're here, we're going to go into settings and see that right now we're using our community edition. And if we navigate to a content type builder, we don't have any additional features here. So now let's go ahead back to our project and we're going to navigate to our .env file. If you ever forget how to do something in Strapi or have questions, did you know that Strapi has Ask AI Anything? This is a really great useful feature to find quick questions. So I'm going to click here and notice that I previously asked already how to add a license to my existing project. It shows you instructions for adding it to Strapi Cloud, but here we're doing our local project or for self-hosted project. 
you could either create a license.txt file, or in our case, we're just gonna add a strappy license in our .env file. So back in my project, I'm gonna go ahead and add the environmental variable and paste in my API key. Now I'm gonna go ahead and restart my application by running Yarn Dev. Once my application starts, you're going to see that we have our project running with our license. And once we refresh, notice that we now have our Strapi AI feature available to us. Nice. Now that we're ready to go, let's jump in and take a look at some of the things that we could do. I hope you're excited about Strapi AI as I am, and definitely go ahead and create that free Strapi Cloud account and give Growth Plan a try for the next 30 days and play around with the Strapi AI features and give us all your feedback and try it out for yourself. It's a time saver, especially when you're trying to build out your collection and content types really quickly. And if you have any questions, you could stop on by and chat with me on our Strapi Discord, Monday through Friday at 12.30 p.m. CST time. I would love to help you. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.